If tomatoes aren't your favourite thing, now's the time to scour the shops and markets as the summer bounty is there to tempt you. The edible thistle artichoke is a real summer treat, delicious when boiled and eaten with vinaigrette. Lemons and limes make for perfect supper sipping. Simply slice, add to a glass with elderflower and top up with soda water. Summer means a glut of the quintessentially British runner bean, and if you make them into a chutney, can be enjoyed all year long. Gooseberries are a scrumptious seasonal delight and form the basis for my gooseberry snow dessert. The hairy little gooseberry is a peculiar fruit, but one I love. Intriguing in taste, it's very tangy. They're in abundance by July, and this is a fantastic pudding to put them in. Top and tail the gooseberries and place in a saucepan. Gooseberries are one of those real quintessential British fruits. A real taste of the English summer. Add plenty of butter and sugar. They can be so tart, gooseberries. I like that quite ferocious, twisty tang. But if you don't, you can always put more sugar in. I don't want to cook these until they're complete pap. You want kind of them to slightly hold their form and have a little bit of bite. So really, this will only cook for six to eight minutes. Remove from the heat, leave to cool for five minutes, then stir in two egg yolks. This will thicken up and also make it very rich, as if it wasn't rich enough already. But you can't have too much of a good thing. Leave to one side, now on to the meringue topping. Whisk two egg whites in a bowl until stiff. You should be able to empty it upside down without it falling on the floor. Then gradually add 100 grams of sugar and a teaspoonful of vanilla extract. You've now got lovely, stiff, glossy meringue, like good quality shaving foam. Spoon the gooseberries into oven-proof bowls and generously top with meringue. Finally, bake in a medium oven for 15 minutes. Oh, yes. Look at that for drama. Right, which one? I can't wait to get at that meringue lurking below. Peculiar, hairy little things. But 